What's up, followers? Got another unboxing here. If you've been following my full-length videos where I'm out in the field and I'm picking and I'm making deals, you can get a little insight into some of the deals that I've made. And then in these videos, which I'm trying to do after those, um, it's more me unboxing, taking the stuff out of the tote. And then from there is when I actually start to list most of those items and in some cases like this one i haven't actually i haven't given a great look at all the items because a lot of the stuff you know when we're in the field i'm picking i'm making deals deciding the price i haven't actually scanned through every single piece so we're going to do that together here in a quick uh, you know semi-short video give a shout out to uh, one of my best friends chaos in the city created me my own music tune a three minute clip called colleen colleen I don't know. It's pretty cool. It's a hip hop based uh, tune, a beat that he created that is his specialty, but I'm positive he can, you know, work with different genres and, and create like a beat for you. So um, I've been tagging that in my last few videos. You can find his YouTube channel, look for his last video called The Stimulus Package. I don't receive anything from that. He's just truly a good friend of mine that I've known most of my life. And uh, yeah, if he can do something to help other creators and get away from that little copyright bit, I want my YouTube to grow and to be monetized. And even though I'm, I've purchased the right to use the music that's in the program that I use, it still shows up with a copyright flag, even though it says it's okay. I want to get rid of that. I want my own stuff. Thank you to my boy. Check him out, Chaos in the City. I'll flip this over and we'll do this unboxing. All right, first piece here. I can't even remember where I bought, where I got this, but Pookie the Lion. It did show up in the last video, but I didn't buy that one. So, um, so yeah, I don't know. But somewhere along the line, I found one. It's kind of a Valentine's gift. Oh, here's another Barbie. May I put? The, I think I showed y'all that already. All right. So first thing, and these are not in any video, but I'm gonna go through these. This is the Star Wars haul. I picked this up on the last day of the sale. I went back and the guy had a whole shelf of them that were hanging up just on display. He said these came from a buyout of KB stores over in the South Carolina area. He said when they were liquidating that store just thrifters are up there filling trailers full of these things which explains why there seems to be a lot of them on the market um, these don't sell for a lot but i remember in that deal i got all of these 30 or 40 of these for um, about 108 dollars but uh we got leia um mama madame I'm sure there's some duplicates. Some of them have this foil sticker. It can make them worth a little bit more. I have to clean this up. Panda Baba. Another, another Leia. Another Leia. I don't mind the duplicates because I can get similar condition. Put them on one listing. And these are, yeah, that's the same. Just make sure they look a little different. And then Danger with the hollow card. Another Leia. Leia is not the most popular character, oddly. Um, <laughs> I dropped it. This one, these are worth a little more, too. They have the freeze frame action slide in them. I don't know about that character, though. Um, Lobot. And then a Luke Skywalker with the action frame. Skywalker's usually good. A R5-D4 with the holo card. Obi-Wan, that's a slow seller, no doubt. Same thing with Han Solo, but this Han does have that hollow card, so I might might sell a little faster, might be worth a little more. These aren't worth a ton, but my investment is less than $2 per item, or right around $2 per item. I think that was my deal. When I negotiated with them, I was offering $3 a piece, but then he found another stack of them, and threw in a couple more, couple more items, 
and it brought me down to about a dollar 75 maybe a dollar 80. it's a hollow card greedo sky another skywalker a different skywalker another leia another leia a bunch of leia which is odd because i know i have a couple of these already and they don't they don't really sell fast so but it's okay skywalker with the hollow cards bent up on the on the box a little bit more skywalkers more leia so definitely were picked through when i got to them but still not too bad of a of a price even if i only sell them for about five dollars each i'll make them all right so that was a big volume deal there with these figures and then the next which you did see me in the last video deal it was the featured deal where i said i used the pull out method the walk away method and that it worked so I believe I said in there 13 or 14 of these. They were Skybirds. He um, he went in at, I think, was it $2 a piece? $2.50 a piece? And where we finally met with the deal, the racing champions, Skybirds. Um, i seen where a lot of four of these in the set could sell up to 80 bucks. But F4J... The Stealth F-19A. These are in pretty good condition too. They were on his table. I kind of looked through that. Another F-4J. Hawker Harrier. I did notice, I mean, there was some variety to them as well. MiG-29 Fulcrum. If I have duplicates, I, could, I knew I could list them in the same listing. McDonnell Douglas. If I have a complete set on the back, 12 different jets. If I can get a full set of those, I could potentially get over 200 bucks if I have all 12. I'm not going to figure that out right here on this video, but that was some of the opportunities that I considered when I just bought them all. Definitely didn't look through them all. If you check out my last video, it's, it is toward the end of that video, the deal, but it was kind of neat. I mean, I wasn't ready to spend $3 a piece for them only because I didn't know a lot about them. But as soon as I started to walk away, there's a Soviet stealth fighter. When I started to walk away, he was like, Hey, and I think before that, I also kind of opened my wallet. I bought a couple little things. I kind of let him see that I had a, you know, a pocket full of cash. And, um, you know, a good seller doesn't, doesn't let a pocket full of cash just walk out the door. But anyway, all these action figures, my total investment is about $145. This is a whole table full of figures. Day one of the 127 over the second morning. We got in late the first day and then... Uh, last or not the last i think saturday we left on sunday this was saturday 127 with the star wars figure so all that for 150 bucks plenty of inventory if you enjoyed this video and you haven't done so yet hit that subscribe button smash that thumbs up it helps me to get new viewers to draw attention to the video and to um, kind of spur that youtube algorithm leave me a comment let me know what you like about these Tell me how good or bad I did. My name's Andrew. I'm with Goodwater Pickers. That's our business. That's our store. You'll find Goodwater Pickers on most platforms. Hit us up. Hopefully we can see you at a meetup or an event. But until next time, I'm out. <laughs>